Hello YouTube! So thank you for joining me again. It's been a while since I last did a video. Um, for those of you who joined me previously, you would have seen me do my unboxing and quick review of the uh, Paylit Game Rock RTX 3080. I love that card. So it's a bit of a Marmite product. It's full of RGB, lights all the way over it. It's a bit in your face and obscene, um, but I actually grew to love it. And I'll tell you why, it became the best overclocking cool card I've ever used. It was just so quiet and cool and I really like that. However, I've got a water cool PC. I really wanted to water cool it and there was no water cooling block available for that card. The PCB was specific to the Game Rock graphics card itself. Um, so it wasn't an option. So further down the line, um, I decided to sell it. I put it on eBay because the prices were going bananas. Um, I made much more money than I paid for it by selling it and that allowed me to have the money sat in the bank to buy an RTX 3090. Um, I was lucky enough to get uh, Founders Edition direct from NVIDIA in the UK. So it worked out really well for me. Um, I know some of you guys have been struggling to get out of a car since day one and you're still waiting. Hang in there guys. Um, there's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm sure if you keep trying you will get one however if you're here to see um, my new toy then you've in the right place so with the 3090 it has unlocked the possibility for me to water cool it and integrate it into my system and I quickly joined the pre-order queue for the quantum vector special edition water block that EKWB have produced um, Actually, they didn't send it to me because the queue was just getting longer and longer, but the guys at Overclockers in the UK managed to get hold of one, and they sorted me right out. Still had to pay, but that's a standard consumer thing. So here we have a EK Quantum Vector Founders Edition water block from EKWB. I went for the silver version. I know a lot of people go for the black, but I actually chose the silver because a, I've got silver case. It's black on the inside, but it's silver on the outside. And I think the silver will react a little bit better with lighting than the matte black block that they've done as well. Um, this is more of a satin finish, so it's a bit more sparkly. Um, so we're gonna have a look inside and see what it comes with. Um, because I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, I know I'm going to get a block, but are we going to get any toolkits with it? Are we going to get the thermal pads, uh, paste? I think we should expect paste. Every time I've had a GPU block in the past, we've had some thermal grease in there. EKWB usually provide that. I'd expect nothing less. That is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Now, I know it's only on the screen, and it's been on the screen for every press release you've seen so far, but when you see it in the flesh, ooh, that is a thing of beauty. It really is. Did you hear that noise? Ooh, we like noises like that. Superb. So, there we have it. It is glorious, as you can see. Very, very aesthetically pleasing. Very well put together. You can see this machine finish surface here is just, it's just perfection, you know. I'd expect nothing less from EKWB. I've had no problems with any of their products that I've been using over the years. And it is just really nice looking, that. Very, very nice. So we've got the black and silver back plate. We've got the end feed plexi inlet port. They do also supply a 90 degree block for those who want to come in um, in the front of the block. I'm gonna come in on the end feed as it is shipped with because I've got the distribution plate and it's pretty much set up for this block natively so there we go it's really lovely i'm very impressed with that indeed it's 
really going to make my case look gorgeous. Since I've had the uh, Founders Edition, that thing's massive by the way. It wouldn't fit on the vertical bracket because of the little, you see the little uh, feed that cuts out the GPU. Um, it's, it's just about 10 mil too, too long, so it, it actually hits that. So I've had to put it back in horizontally um, in, while I was waiting for this to ship. Um, so I'm quite pleased that once I get this fitted, I'm gonna fit it in the next day or two, but once I get that fitted, I will be going back vertically mounted. Um, so also in the box, we get a little, I'm not sure what that is, what it's for. I imagine it's, it's a tool of some description for something, but I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Should we see if we can find, find something for it? Oh, it's probably, I'll tell you what it is probably for. It's probably for the blanking caps, isn't it? Yeah, it will be. But yeah, it's a blanking cap Allen key, isn't it, for screwing in. It's quite, quite handy. I've not got one of those yet. Um, we get some screws, we get thumb paste, we're hey. A couple of Allen keys for undoing the screws on the block. And some thermal pads. Excellent. So, don't have to buy any more of those. I'd expect nothing less. Now, looking at these, they do all appear to be the same thickness. Could be wrong, could be wrong, but they all appear to be the same thickness. They probably look about 1.5 mils to me. Um, if for some reason you are watching this video and you are thinking of changing the thermal pads on your stock cooler, please be aware that I have read the stock cooler uses two different thicknesses of thermal pads that being 1.5 mil and two millimeters. So if you're gonna do that, it will give you better temperatures on your memory junction, but it's two different thicknesses. I think if you use the same thicknesses, you're gonna be ended up with more problems. So just do a bit of research before you do that. Um, however, it looks like these are all the same thicknesses and it's gonna be native for this product. So don't use the thicknesses of those as a basis of changing the thermal pads for that cooler. Because like I said, what I've read, you need two different thicknesses. So that is all for today, I think. I just wanted to show off this cooler and the unboxing because I've not seen many of them that out there so far. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be one of the first to show it off on YouTube in a build. Um, I'm sure by this point in time, there's maybe a few out there already, but um, I've not seen, I don't think I've seen any in a build on YouTube. So... Maybe I will be the first. Maybe I will get loads of viewers. Who knows? But it's just boring on me. I've not got all the jars like some YouTubers that put a lot of effort into it and a lot of time and fair play to them. Um, it's obviously and clearly their job. This is not my job. This is just a hobby thing for me, squeezing it in. The kids are upstairs playing PlayStation. I've got to go through there in a minute and make some dough for pizza time for tonight. So I'm a busy guy. I can't do this all the time. However, I've got 14 subscribers at the time of uh, recording this and I appreciate you 14. If you want to subscribe and make my day, please do. It will make me very happy. So the next time you see me, hopefully, this is going to be in progress of going in. I might try and do like a uh, teardown video of installing it. Um, maybe, I'm not too sure about that yet. However, you will get another video from me regardless once it is installed and we will talk about improvements to the operating temperature of the card once this is installed. And I'll tell you one improvement that's going to be absolutely apparent from the get go and that is the loudness of it because when this thing gets going on the stock cooler, that fan, it's horrible. It's too loud, it's too loud. But it's a founder's card, so you'd expect nothing less, you know. It's, it's, it stays cool on the core, the founders. It does stay cool on the core, but um, it's well documented now that the memory on the GDDR6 goes through the roof. And that's because on the 3090, it's, uh, there are memory chips on the lower portion of the PCB and also on the upper region of the PCB so you've got heat generated both sides whereas on the 3080 it's just on one side so that's why you probably find the 3080 runs slightly cooler but I've seen this go 104 degrees easily I'm fully expecting it to be a lot lot lower than that once this is installed so there we have it and for the eagle-eyed of you who's joined me on my last video you might have noticed that I've got a new screen I bought the Alienware 38 inch 
HDR 144Hz monitor. It is superb, guys, by the way. It is a massive, massive improvement over the Acer Predator X34A, which was slightly showing its age. Um, I did like it, but screen technology, pixel technology have come a long way in the last few years. So um, if anybody's bothered, drop me a message. I might do a review on this. Um, I do like it a lot. It was a lot of money. Um, but I've got to the age now where I don't really have a, a, a lot to spend my money on. So I spend it on geeky stuff. We can't go out. We're all locked away in the house. Lockdown's still on. Hopefully that's going to be over soon. And then all this spare money I've got will be going down the pub in my belly drinking beer. You guys take care. And I'll see you next time when this sucker is being installed. Stay safe, boys and girls. Love you all. Bye-bye.